90 Day Fianza Are Brian Muniz and Ingrid still together? Will 90 Day Fianza Before the 90 Day star Brian Muniz and Ingrid's relationship have a happy ending in Season 7. Brian is a 51-year-old man from Harvard who is quadriplegic. The professional rugby player and coach drives Uber for a living. Brian introduced his girlfriend Ingrid on the show who he was going to meet in person after two years of talking online. Ingrid was a mom to two sons from two different partners. Ingrid got divorced when she was 25 and her baby daddy left her after finding out she was pregnant. Brian also hadn't had much luck in the relationship department. It's been revealed that Brian has been married four times so far. Brian wanted Ingrid to be the one. Brian has a daughter who's almost the age of 33-year-old Ingrid. His interest in dating such a young woman should have been a red flag in itself, but Brian also convinced fans that he was looking for both a caretaker and a girlfriend on his first night together with Ingrid when he expected her to undress him, insert his catheter, and also get physical with him. Ingrid was not expecting to see this side of Brian, who she thought was pretty independent. Brian played rugby internationally with the USA team for four years. It took him to 10 different countries, including Brazil. He became fluent in Portuguese after playing there for several years, leading to Brian getting employed as a coach. He found it much easier to meet and date women in Brazil than in the US in his experience. The attitude women have towards men in wheelchairs is like they're the last resort but the Brazilian women he met were much more open to disability. Brian has several relationships in Brazil. He went through a few devastating breakups and even a failed marriage, which led to him thinking that real love wasn't on the cards. However, Brian ended up meeting Ingrid online. They had been talking for two years when they started filming. They spoke daily and had hit it off right away. Talking to Ingrid made Brian feel he had chosen very wrong in the past, but she was totally different. Brian thought Ingrid was funny, caring, mature apart from being gorgeous, blonde, curvy. Brian could feel their relationship escalating by the minute. Ingrid felt like being a single mom was difficult. She wanted to meet someone who cared about her and her children. When Ingrid first saw Brian's photos on a dating site, she thought he was handsome, interesting, 45, and charming. While Ingrid was shocked when she heard that Brian used a wheelchair, she liked how positive Brian was towards life. He'd be a good partner you know, she told the producers. During a conversation with Ingrid, her friend Villainy joked that Ingrid was looking for gringos because she was dying to leave Brazil. Ingrid admitted she wished to move to America. Even during her introduction, Ingrid said that Brian was 45 and that it was a good age. Brian had told Ingrid he was 43 when they had started talking. He accidentally ended up telling Ingrid his real age while they were talking about her strict dad. Ingrid was telling Brian that she found it difficult to understand her dad, which led to him asking how old her father was. 54, that's my age, come on man, Brian had laughed. He ended up revealing he was 51 to a shocked Ingrid, who told him, You always told me you were 45. He decided that it was the right time to tell her about what led to him using a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Brian had never told her the whole story of how he became paralyzed. She knew that he was in an accident and not the details of his lifestyle before the gunshot. He had been worried about sharing his past with Ingrid, but realized it was the right time for her to tell her the truth. Brian told Ingrid that he had sold drugs. Brian revealed he sold drugs for five years and used them too. He used to drink a case of beer, a day with three grams of cocaine on the table. Brian revealed he met his second wife at the time. Life to Brian at the time was a little bit exciting, even though he felt it was ridiculous to say it out loud. He had become a popular drug dealer who lived a certain kind of lifestyle his family didn't approve of. He hadn't talked to his mother for three years, but Brian was also making more money than he ever had in his life. He didn't have the strength in him to say no. 
He decided to leave this life behind when he looked in the mirror and saw a zombie. Past, but there was no way in hell he was ever going back to it. He felt offended because he had been through a lot and was a changed man now.